Valley Views on Aquidneck Island in Rhode Island. Welcome to Wine Country. Not far from the banks of the Sakonet River is Greenville Vineyards, a six-generation family farm set on 73 acres. We produce about uh, 70 tons of fruit every year. We grow Malbec, Merlot, Cap Franc, Chardonnay, Albarino, Pinot Gris, Cayuga, and Vidal. Winemaker Billy Wilson says that this wine press can hold two and a half tons of grapes. It comes right out of here and you pump it right into the tank. Billy's parents, Nancy and Bill Wilson. My great, great, great uncle uh, purchased this land. He grew up in Mattapoisett and in Salem, so he understood he was looking for great farmland, and that's what he found here. Nancy's family has worked to preserve the farm, placing it on the National Register of Historic Places. These properties are disappearing. Only 19% of the island here is open space, and so the idea is to keep this generation after generation as a vineyard. This is a 2022 Cab Franc. But back to the wine. And I do this just because I see the connoisseurs do this, but do we really need to? This, I mean, it, help, it helps bring out the, the, what we call the nose of the wine. The nose of the wine. Wilson says you don't have to be in Europe or California to produce a good wine. We are a similar, in terms of like the season itself, we're very similar to Burgundy. It's a cool climate but in a way that produces these nice, uh, refreshing, sort of high acid, crisp white wines, as well as these medium bodied uh, reds with a great finish and a lot of aroma. It's very refreshing. It goes down very smoothly. It's all about terroir, how the soil, sun, and climate affect grapes, say the Wilsons. The fact that it's, it's rocky soil, it's pitched and well-drained is absolutely critical. The second thing is it's on the water. It's cool nights, warm days, and that cycle is also consistent with great vineyards. It is daunting, but we've been at it for 40 years, and happily, we are uh, making our way, and it's a family affair. It's a family affair. <laughs> this is not your typical neighborhood wine shop. I wanted to create a very hospitality-forward um, retail space that also is a beautiful space in itself to host private events, to host private tastings. So we have two whites and two reds. Sarah Marshall owns Lucille Wine Shop and Tasting Room in Lynn, Massachusetts. Marshall is a wine expert, a certified sommelier, and avid foodie. Wine was so interesting to me because it was another way of learning about culture. It's a way to learn about people, place, tradition, history, um, geography. This is from Mount Etna in, in Italy, so it's grown in volcanic soil, so that it has a wonderful minerality. The collection here is diverse and unusual. So we're starting to see a lot of Slovenia, Croatia is super popular right now, um, Greek wines, South Africa is doing quite well. As you all know, my Lucille students of the day, People place tradition, very important to why we select the wines that we do. Lucille Wine Shop has a wine club and offers relaxed, informal tastings. There is no good wine or bad wine. It's all about what you like. There's been this very big um, barricade that it's like if you're not in the know, then you're not in the know. It's a really unfortunate stigma that has been placed because wine should be fun. Cheers, chin chin, enjoy, make friends. Italy, France, Spain, for example, they grow up in wine, they grew up in vineyards outside of California, which, you know, really only was put on the map in the 1970s. Wine culture was not part of our upbringing. I'm always learning something new. And then I think more than anything, there's really a sense of community here. Marshall is glad to hear it. We make wine approachable by first putting it in the glass. You get somebody to taste something delicious, you're 90% there. And something we learned as well was that as weather patterns change, as we all know, some of the traditional wine regions are actually being adversely affected. France, Italy, and Spain, for example, have had a lot of problems with their vineyards recently, as well as California. But Sarah Marshall of Greenville Vineyard says cooler climates in Germany and Austria are seeing some of their best production, so this could work well for New England wineries in the future. As long as we don't grow palm trees up here at some point. Still ahead, <laughs> making wine an event.